Hi and Assalamualaikum, we are from group RAS 1204G Today we are going to present about the acid titration Information of phosphoric acid in soft drinks for CHM256 Our group members consist of 6 people which is me, Muhammad Jafi, Manfi Zahnis, Miza Hamiza, Hadis Suha and lastly Azrina Our contents including introduction, objective, theory, methodology, results, conclusion and references Volumetric analysis, also known as titration, is a common laboratory method of quantitative chemical analysis used to determine the amount or concentration of, of an identified analyte. So, in this experiment, we will conduct an acid-based titration, which is a fundamental form of volumetric analysis. So, we will titrate a sample of soft drink, which we choose coke to determine the percentage concentration of phosphoric acid. So phosphoric acid is one of several weak acids that commonly found in carbonated beverages. It is a component of all soft drinks. Phosphoric acid has a much higher concentration than any other acids in the container of soft drink. Therefore, its concentration can be determined by a simple acid-based titration. The objective of this experiment is to determine the percentage concentration of phosphoric acid in coke. Hmm, what is titration? Titration is a fundamental technique used in analytical chemistry to determine the concentration of an analyte in a solution. The principles of titration involves the gradual co-addition of a solution of known concentration which is titrine to a solution of unknown concentration which is analyte until the reaction between the two is complete. The result of titration indicated by a visual change. What is it? Such as color change or the formation of precipitate. The first few types of titrations are acid-based titration, redox titration, and complexometric titration. So, if you guys are wondering what are the apparatus and chemicals we used in our experiments, here are the apparatus and chemicals we used. Next, I will talk about methodology of acid titration. First of all, the 0.1 mole of sodium hydroxide used to titrate was calculated. The mass was weighed and dissolved in 25 ml distilled water to prepare sodium hydroxide solution. Then, the solution was transferred into 250 ml volumetric flask and the beaker was rinsed using distilled water. The distilled water was added until the calibration mark of volumetric flask. After that, 40 ml of coke was poured into an Erlenmeyer flask. A base was added gradually to the standard solution at an unknown concentration. Then, the base is mixed with a few drops of indicator solution which is phenolphthalein. In addition, titrate the coke using sodium hydroxide solution until the solution indicates color changing. Next, when the color was changed, record the end point of the titration. Last but not least, the concentration of the other solution can be calculated using the volumes of acid and base that were used, as well as the concentration of the standard solution. The experiment was repeated for second end point of the titration and find the equivalent point for each titration using pH meter. Next, we'll show how the experiment of acid titration has been carried out.
So hi, my part is going to talk about the result of the experiment. So we have known from the experiment the titration of phosphoric acid. There are three reactions that involve in this experiment. So the aqua solution phosphoric acid we have as triportic tri acid, which is we have medium strong acid, we have weak acid, and we have base as weak base as weak base. So, uh, from the graph, it has shown three curves of pH that involve in phosphoric acid titration. So, this is the volume of hydroxide ion that we use in, phosphor in phosphoric acid titration. So, from the test, we know how much volume hydroxide we use, it may affect the pH value. The more volume we use, the more increasing in pH value. So, before we continue to calculate concentration of phosphoric acid, we have to calculate substance of the sodium hydroxide, which is hydroxide ion. So, this concentration of hydroxide ion, uh, from, the previous, from the previous procedure, we use 0 0.100 mol of sodium hydroxide. And, uh, first we use 5.08 um, ml. And we need to convert to millimole. So we uh, we get 0 0.508. So from the H3PO4, we know that uh, the millimole is 0 0.508 millimole. So uh, so 0 0.508 millimole divided by 25 ml which is 25 uh, 25 L that we use in procedure uh, distilled water to prepare the sodium hydroxide. So we get 0 0.0232 molar. So this is the calculation of concentration of phosphoric acid in coke. So we do same as before calculation but we using 6.6 ml and the first equal equivalent which is uh, from the formula, 0 0.100 mol molar multiplied by 6.6 ml and we get 0 0.66, 0 0.66 millimole. So the concentration of phosphoric acid, which is in the, we contribute in the formula, we uh, which is 0 0.66 millimole divided by uh, 150 ml and we got and we get 0 0.0044 molar. So, uh, therefore, the concentration of phosphoric acid in coke is 0 0.0044 molar. So, we determine that the concentration of phosphoric acid in this, the concentration of phosphoric acid is relatively small. So, from the curve of uh, coke titration, from the first we, pH, we get 4.62. Second point pH is 9.00 and third point of pH is we get 10.46 value. So, uh, this is the concentration of phosphoric acid. This is the concentration of phosphoric acid in food. During the trituration experiment, it's actually kind of crucial to wear protective gear, handle chemicals carefully, and use equipment properly. Um, so actually, is uh, we need to wear appropriate protective gear. So this is includes a lab coat to protect your skin and clothing, and gloves to protect your hands. This is because some chemicals used in titration can cause burn or other injuries if they come into contact with your skin or eyes. Um, secondly, use all equipment properly. So uh, you need to make sure that you know how to use a blue wrap and pipette correctly before starting the experiment. These pieces of equipment are delicate and can easily break if mishandled, potentially causing injury. Also ensure that the bureau is clamped secu securely to the stand to prevent it from falling over. And lastly, uh, always clean up after your experiment, such as uh, dispose of all chemical waste in the appropriate waste containers and clean all equipment thoroughly. This is not only helps to maintain a safe and clean environment, but also 
prevent cross-contamination in future experiments. In conclusion, phosphoric acid for acid titration in soft drinks offer important information on the acidity levels of the beverage. Phosphoric acid concentration can be precisely measured using titration techniques with sodium hydroxides, since phosphoric acid greatly influences the overall acidity and flavor balance of soft drinks, this analysis is essential to understanding their composition and taste profile. Researchers and producers can match consumer preferences for flavory and sensory experience in carbonated beverages and guarantee consistent product quality by becoming proficient in these titration procedures. Thank you.